run. Just run. Hi guys, it's Adam and welcome to a sales update. So today we've got 10 sales, probably going to do this in approximately 15 minutes because I can never seem to hit the 10 minutes. I'll try with all my might today, but I'm not promising I'll do it in 10 minutes. Um, so yeah, this is going to be in ascending order as well. So the first sale will be the lowest value of this sales update and the last sale will be the highest. Um, I've liked doing that for the past few weeks. I think it's quite a nice way of doing these sales updates. You can slowly start to see the sales value go up until we get to the apex at the end. I think it's just quite interesting to do it that way. So that being said, we'll start with this first sale here, which is this black and white two PC game. Uh, 9.95 free postage on this one. You can see it's got its manual there and then it's got the disc as well. Uh, as far as I'm aware, the disc didn't have any major scratches or anything like that. I wouldn't have uh, specified the condition as good if it did have anything like that. So I'm guessing the disc was pretty much clean or it may have had some very, very minor scratches, very, very tiny light scratches. Um, if if anything or light marks or something, but yeah, 9.95 for this one. I believe I paid 50p or a pound. I can't remember which one at a charity shop a while ago. I actually had this hung around, just sort of sat around, uh, not getting listed for quite a while, uh, and then I listed it and it sold. I don't know. I don't know when I listed this. It might have been three or four weeks ago or something, maybe around that. Um, so I don't think it took forever to go or anything. So yeah, 9.95 on that one there. Next, obviously. Obviously, you'll be bored of me saying this, but uh, those of you who have uh, followed the channel for a while, but a while ago, my dad's friend gave me a load of his kind of back stock for free. He didn't want any money for it. And uh, basically, these are these were kind of the final figures in it. Obviously, I've got other figures listed, but these were the final figures to list um, that were just hanging around in my lockup. And I thought, what I'll do is I'll do a few little bundles and just set them off on auction. Because obviously, all this has not cost me anything. So it doesn't really matter what I get back at this point. So if I just whack these in a bundle, it's not really a very good bundle. It's not really a very accurate bundle shall we say because we've got just random different figures in here it's not really a um, a well-organized bundle or like a um, a bundle that you would automatically think of putting together but I just whacked it together anyway put it on at 9.95 for the starting bid uh, plus my postage and it just got one bid I think it went around twice before it actually picked up a bid um, and yeah 9.95 plus my postage on that one so again pure profit on that one after postage and fees so pretty happy with that one next we've got this classic dot two BBC collectible Leela companion figure um, now she didn't have her knife on this one obviously it would be worth a little bit more with the knife Pro probably not a lot more to be honest maybe only a couple of quid more something like that with the knife but you can see I got 12.99 plus my post on that one and I'll be in profit on the job lot that this came in by now because I've been selling through quite a, the lo a lot of the Doctor Who figures recently uh, and I am actually starting to get down I'm still got quite a few listed but I am actually starting to get down them quite a lot now. So yeah, 12 99 plus my postage on that one. We can't really have a sales update without a Doctor Who figure in there, although I probably had a few sales updates recently without them in, um, but I do like to include them, obviously, because I, I like Doctor Who, um, so it always makes me smile when I get a sale of one. So next we've got this Woody Woodpecker plush soft toy large retro. Now, I didn't really do a very good title on this one. I should have padded that out a bit more. Normally, as you can see from these titles here, you know, I've padded them out a little bit more. Well, that one's not so great, but it's only a video game. Um, but with these titles here, you know, you can see I've padded them out a bit more. Um, but yeah, with this one, I just didn't pad it out. I could have probably included vintage in the title, although maybe it wasn't vintage. Yeah, maybe it's not vintage. It looks fairly... Fairly modern that logo, so maybe that's why I didn't put vintage in the title. But yeah, you can see here, fourteen ninety nine plus my postage. I think I paid, did I pay two quid at the car boot for this? It was in a recent car boot haul anyway. So uh, yeah, two quid for this into fourteen ninety nine went pretty quickly. That actually, and I mentioned in the car boot haul that I was be looking to get about I think maybe twelve ninety nine or fourteen ninety nine back for it. So that is what I got. So I was pretty happy with that. Next, we've got this vintage aggravation board game, Lakeside 1977. Never heard of that brand, Lakeside, so that's quite interesting, actually. 14 99 on this one, plus postage. 
I believe I paid £3 or £3.50 at the charity shop. It was one of the two. Uh, I know the charity shop that I got this from. It was actually quite a while ago now. I've had this listed for quite a while. But in the end, it did go for £14.99 plus my postage. And it's interesting to find a board game that I've not seen before. And that's maybe a little bit different. So yeah, that's that one there. Next, we've got this vintage Wedgwood white ceramic teapot with floral design. Um... Uh, 14 99 on that one plus uh, a little bit extra for my postage because I was sending this Hermes. You can see here it's just a pretty standard uh, floral design teapot by Wedgwood there. Wedgwood Bone China made in England. Nothing special at all. I kind of whack these teapots on at uh, pretty much around about this range, sort of $14.99. Possibly if it's a little bit better, I might go $19.99. Or if it's maybe a little bit more standard, I might go a little bit less than $14.99. But yeah, fourteen ninety nine on this one. Nothing really, really special, as I said. Um, and yeah, just uh, I would. So actually, I'm trying to think how much I paid. Um, it will have just been in an auction job lot. Probably wouldn't have cost me any more than one or two pound uh, expressed as an individual cost from that job lot. So yeah, not a lot of cost involved with it to me. But yeah, fourteen ninety nine on that. So I was pretty happy with that one. Next, a little bit of a jump up in price as we get a little bit higher. Um, this is Old Hall Alveston Salad Servers Rob. Robert Welsh stainless steel again I think this was in an auction job but I don't think this was from a charity shop yeah I think this will have been in an auction job lot cost to me will be negligible again one or two quid something like that uh, and 29.99 plus my postage I got on that one I did show this in a haul video at some point Obviously, I don't know which one it was, um, but if you go back far enough, I'm sure you'd be able to find it in one of them, because I do remember recording a whole video with this in. But yeah, and I was actually surprised in the whole video that I would get 29, $29.99 for this, and I did get $29.99 for it, although it did take a long time to sell. It probably took six months or so to sell. Um, but yeah, $29.99 plus my postage on that. And as I say, they're just these kind of uh, stainless steel. Is it stainless steel? Yeah, stainless steel salad servers. They don't really look like anything special. But this is where you've got to be careful in collectibles and antiques and cutlery and all that sort of stuff. Things might not look special, but they might be worth a little bit of money. So you've got to be careful. You've got to always do your research, you know. Um... Next, we've got this vintage Crash Bandicoot video game character play-by-play -play, large plush toy. And this was really large plush toy. Did I, do I, I, I would have thought I'd done a measurement on this, but maybe I didn't. Yeah, maybe I didn't do a measurement on it. Hmm. Normally, I would do a measurement on something like this, but no, I didn't do a measurement on that one. But twenty nine ninety nine plus my postage, I guess sitting down there, it's probably about... 30 40 centimeters but then the full size thing will be a little bit longer than that maybe 50 centimeters or something like that um so it was quite a big plush uh 29.99 as i say plus my postage i paid four quid at an indoor indoor car boot way earlier on in this year i think it may have been january or something this year possibly yeah i think it was january this january february this year i was thinking then for a second maybe it will have been the latter part of last year but i think it was actually the early part of this year so four quid into 30 quid but took a very long time to go it did have some marks on it there was a little bit of frilling to the to the shorts there as well but there was just some general bits of marks on it i don't know whether you can see i did actually clean it up a bit so actually it maybe looks a little bit better than i'm thinking but when i first got it it did have some marks to it but actually i, I think after cleaning it up it did actually come up okay so, yeah, I don't think there's actually that much wrong with it anymore. But when I first got it, yeah, it was in a little bit of a state. It wasn't brilliant. Um, but obviously, when I cleaned it up, it must have come up pretty good. So that's pretty happy with that one. Next, we've got this vintage painting. Again, another painting's gone. So this is interesting. Uh, nice little gilt frame on this one as well. Vintage painting entitled September in oval gold-coloured frame. This was quite a short painting. It was like 36 centimetres by... I don't know, about 25 centimetres in width, something like that. So not not as big as it looks on the photo. It's actually smaller than it, than it looks, really. Uh, 29.99 there, plus my postage. Again, will it just come in an auction job at some point? Po possibly two or three pound cost to me. So not a huge amount of money. Probably about three pound on this one, I would say. Um, but for three quid into 30 quid, I'm all over that. I'm really, really happy with that one. And then finally, we've got this brown light felt crushable water repellent cowboy style hat. 
uh, and it's made in the USA. I don't know whether it does it say on here. Yeah, it says on there, made in the USA, light, light felt. And it is actually really like a crushable hat. You can kind of like crush it in and everything, fold it up, and then you can kind of push it back out again into its original shape. It's pretty interesting. Uh, there's also a tag on here. Oh, it just says medium. Um, so, yeah. Nice little hat this, I paid £8 in the charity shop and at the time I was thinking oh maybe I paid a little bit too much for that but I did get £34.99 plus my postage, it did take a while to go, it probably took 5 or 6 months to go so not ideal really, not a really quick turnaround or anything but it still went and it still got me some profit back but ideally I would have liked to be in this for maybe £4 or £5 opposed to maybe the £8 that I paid but still I got my money out of it and I got a good bit of profit out of it in the end so yeah £34.99 plus my postage on that one and that is all the sales today so I will leave it there I won't do any more rambling um, if you haven't already then please do consider subscribing uh, if you did like the video then please do throw me a like down below I, I really appreciate it and then of course um yeah i will i'll say uh, oh no wait what did i say did i say subscribe yeah i already said i'm i'm forgetting what i said there do I, what else do i normally say i forget what i normally say at the end of these videos anyway i'll leave it at that for the plugs i'll leave the plugs at that anyway because i forgot what else i was gonna say so i'll leave it there and i will see you in the next one guys so see you very soon